Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am Ramak, the leader of the Snap, and this is a new kind of Patriot deck that not a lot of people are actually playing. Why is this deck so good? Well, Pixie. Pixie is the newest, and as I've predicted, a really good card. Pixie is just a really good card because energy cheating can never be bad in Marvel Snap, despite what many of other content creators might tell you. Energy cheating is just such an underrated mechanic, and when you get to play a free cost onslaught, oh hell yeah. Now it's game time. But now in deck edit, what are we gonna do? Well, it's just a simple Patriot deck. You run stuff like Mysterio and Squirrel Girl to discount your, like, Mockingbird. Then you run stuff like Valkyrie to shrink the opponent's big stuff. And because you have so many ongoing effects like Patriot, Blue Marvel, you just instantly win those games. Ant-Man and Dazzler are your big game carries. Wasp is there to fill a lane for, of course, our good friend Dazzler. And sometimes even make something a zero cost like Onslaught. And everything else is just a normal Patriot deck. You run Mobius and Mobius because Lokis and other Pixie decks are rampant on the ladder. There's stuff like Annihilus everywhere, so you need to be, well, prepared to face down Pixies a lot, so make sure to put Mobius into all of your decks. But boys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a quick like, comment, and subscribe, make sure to follow my Twitch channel below, and now, my friends, let's get snapping. You know what, guys, this is like the seventh take of the video, and while I'm up by 12 cubes, I lost the last four games due to, okay, uh, I lost RNG, lost RNG, lost RNG, lost RNG. I didn't lose, I just got the, like, turn 6 snapped on because, of course, they hit a 25%. Uh, Insta 50-50, more 50-50s, like hit free 50-50s, it's so bad. Like, I can't say anything, but this game is, even when you're trying to have fun, it feels like I'm at the roulette table, it doesn't feel like I'm playing a video game, it just feels like, okay, uh, everything went well. Proceeds to die, like, what? Just please, stop. It doesn't have to be every single time, it's just like, oh man, like, let me play a little bit. What am I up against? The mill deck. The ultimate RNG fest. It's just RNG. Did he draw the perfect hand? If yes, you lose. If not, you win. That's how it works with the mill deck. And they got Limbo. On turn one. They got Cable Yondu, let me guess, is gonna be Kamara Taj into Gladiator every fucking game. No, there's just no playing on right. Okay. Like, fuck me, it was so rough. Negasonic, funnily enough, gets shut down by Red Guardian. Gladiator, drawn. Squirrel Girl, thank you. Now you may die. But, like, these are the games I'm basically getting. Everyone getting perfect curves. Nothing bottom decked, everything working out as God intended, and I'm like sitting here like, God, please, give me one stupid card so I can actually win. I hope I get to bait out the Red Guardian with the Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Actually, no, that won't even work. He kills a squirrel. Spider Ham, okay. Spider Ham gets clapped here. Mockingbird is a great card. I'm supposed to Blarvel into Onslaught. That And that's gonna be Doc Ock. Every single game. Velk, please. Of course not. It's everything but the Velk. I'm actually gonna wait. Oh wait, Shang. You can just Shang the Mockingbird now because she dropped one turn before she was supposed to. I'm gonna try to see if he can take priority for me. Baron Zemo, take my pixie. I don't nobody really. Shadow King. Rolk. I guess I Valk. I mean, what else is there to do? We should usually win Limbo, I think. If he snaps, I will re reciprocate, but damn. It is a very rough game. Like, I that, the only thing I'm angry about is Doc Ock landing. Like, Doc Ock landing on the Mockingbird is so rough. We still won. Like, this, uh, the opponent's deck sucks. That's not the problem, it's just... I am so done with 
fucking gladiator hits your best card whenever you play gladiator fish out of red hulk and all that kind of shit table draws your onslaught or your patriot like come on and the other decks are sentry and eyeless uh, you don't get to play and if you don't play professor x in your decks you're like well so much for winning today i mean i already won eight cubes with valkyrie once like valkyrie is my favorite card i love valkyrie valkyrie is what i think everyone should consider like one of the best balanced cards in the game it's a five cost it has a specific effect that deals with a lot of raw power. It's not like Shang-Chi. She doesn't destroy anything. She just, like, sets them. And in this deck, Valkyrie is so good. Like, it's so good. And I, I want more snapping opportunities. I'm just like, well, how do I snap when everyone rolls the perfect odds against me every single game? It's slightly infuriating. Let me see. Yondu Cable Gladiator for the eighth time in a row. Just against that deck, I've seen only that curve. Never seen anything else. Maybe it's Hella. If we don't see anything played on turn 2, it's probably Hella. And that means it's all up to RNG of Corvus Glaive. Truly a metagame we're in, right? <laughs> the Kiln. I'll play a Mockingbird then. Let me see. Is it, is it Sir Corvus Glaive, where he just breaks your kneecaps? Every single game, because you're like, haha, hella. Pilates. I'm very much okay with that. I'm scared of uh, that this is Sentry and Eyeless. In case that it is. I'll do it like this. Plus two. There. Yeah, this is it. Okay. He's gonna go left, you just know it. Oh my god, is it possible? Rocket. You got it. How are we supposed to deal with this? A top deck of Onslaught would be an absolute dub. We don't fear a lot of other things. A Goblin, I guess, would be pretty scary. Okay, got my Patriot. That's... Somehow, that's actually not too bad. Like, we still can... I think I'm not even supposed to look at anything else. Like, this is so good. But I like the Dazzler as well. But that means we have to win mid. Which is what I'm not crazy about. Dazzler will update to 6 here. Or not. Maybe that's not how it works. Maybe maybe I'm stupid. I'm just like, is Onslaught the right path to take? I mean, it plays for here. It gives him power here, here, and here. He needs Nightcrawler, he needs Doctor Doom. I guess Doctor Doom would win. Or would it? Okay. Behold our mighty hand. There we go, we win four cubes. Shit, like, it's actually really good. Good thing we played Onslaught mid. That was absolutely the right call. Like, it's the only card that wins in every single way and regard. It's such a good card. Like, Onslaught is my favorite card in the game, I think. Like, no RNG, no nothing, six cost, double your ongoing cards. That's it. Nothing more needed. It's not like if if it's uh, the 22nd of April, you're looking at the sky, there's a blue moon on Friday the 13th, it's actually like the, they just suddenly change, it's like the eclipse from Berserk, it's just like everything happens, and all the planets align, and then finally you instantly win the game. Like that's how most of the effects feel, and how much RNG is required to resolve certain decks. Yeah, people still draw like fucking madmen. It, it's like... Fuck! God damn! I lost a game where a guy did this. Are you guys ready for this? Like, it, it's gonna sound infuriating, so I know all of you will love it. Because, uh, see, you guys say, Romic getting frustrated is my favorite part of the videos. Fine, then you get to hear it. This is what happened. 
Guy opens Nico Minoru. He, he gets Nico Minoru, right? And then, there's Project Pegasus suddenly happens. Like, it's turn one. The, the, the nice score was lit. But, like, it's still turn one, and he reveals he had Nico Minoru with the draw two effect and Nimrod. And I fired a Gladiator Cosmo. And what happened? I At least I had Pryo because I killed the Phoenix Force, but what if I didn't? I actually won that match, but fuck. Like, what the hell was that shit? Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, oh man, Mo my life for Moby is like just no, no cheating. Yeah! Mobius, hell yeah, bro! Go get him, buddy! I love him! I love Mobius. I would die for Mobius, like... Just, no. No cheating. You sack of shit. No cheating. He's gonna get a one-cost lady fucking death strike and I'm gonna lose. Nico Minoru with the demon effect into a hood. <laughs> That's insane! How do you people always get the biggest crack? <laughs> I'm doing nothing. Like, our hand is... So what am I supposed to really do here? Hmm. Okay. A sliver of an idea. Nah, that's shit, dog. What am I thinking of? Like, what am I doing? That That is not good. That is not good at all. So, we Mobius each other as Mobius. Good thing I didn't play, actually, anything that required it. Miss Squirrel Girl. Oh no, he killed my two-attack guy. Now watch him snap, because he probably does have this game. Under lock and key. I don't know how we're supposed to win it, but... By gods, we'll try it. I mean, it's not impossible. I mean, we Blarble on the Hala. I just try to may maybe Corvus Glaive will get to see some plus <laughs> Later, bitch. Like you got it. Like <laughs> nice hands, dude. And it's like this. I like win three games and then oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. No mockingbird. Perfect game. Like just perfect for him. And that's what I really hate about Snap. Like it feels so like. There's like a thing there where, where a game is supposed to not feel like a turbo stomp every single game. Like I feel like I break my opponent's kneecaps, he breaks my own kneecaps, I feel like I break... It, it doesn't feel like it's a match. It feels like, okay, I do this, uh, so here's my like here's my hand, uh, take my hand, and, and you should... Like we can just do this, like, here's my hand, you show me your hand, and let's see who wins. Jacob, balling out of control. Bots don't exist in Infinite, but by god, that is the most bot-ass name I've ever heard. I mean, I can play a little bit of Curve Stone. Please be a playable location. Don't be, like, bar with no name. Yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna pixie it up! I'm gonna pixie it up! I'm gonna pixie it up! I'm gonna go get him. Oh man, my head's gonna hurt from all the fucking shaking. Brrr. What is he playing? Mr. Jacob, you gotta show me your hand. Cringe! It's cringe. Okay, he's playing cringe. So, if he's playing cringe, that means we got a Mobius before any shenanigans happen. Yeah, nice green goblin, dumbass. Say, no. Who? Ongoing? Could it be? Could it be? He's the ongoing warrior? The Giga Chan. Man, my draws are the worst. No late game. That's the real issue here. I guess I'll Patriot. Best thing to really do. Morph, please take give Valkyrie, Valkyrie, Valkyrie! Thanks. Sometimes lucky. There we go. That's a pretty good one. Like, this is quite literally perfect for us. We got a buff for our own cards. Pixie set her to one. Good to know. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave my options a bit open. Yeah, well, fuck that. 
He got it. Like you got that one. To me, it's not impossible to win mid. I'm just not seeing how. So. Super Scroll is super good. Ironheart, please hit mid as much as possible. Sunspot. Well, we win. I think I did snap, did I? Did I not forget? Okay, good. Oh, yeah, we did snap on turn two because of Pixie. Like, I had to snap it. Like, one good energy cheat, which we didn't get. But, I mean, I like Mockingbird. I did, we did get it. We got, we got Mockingbird. There we go. We got Mockingbird. That's the thing we wanted. Let's play one more. Like, if anything, I'm climbing with Patriot. It's really good. I'm just a little annoyed that every single deck we seem to run up against ends up being like... We win two games, then we get stomped, then we win two games, then we get absolutely stomped. And getting stomped sucks. Like, it's not... Like, we didn't stomp our opponent here. I mean, we did, but he doesn't know that. But seeing yourself get like... Like, get absolutely smacked for 78,000 cubes feels really rough. Even though we just lost one few, basically. Still annoying. Still annoying. Keep that in mind. Grand Central. I mean, playing... I mean, it's not bad. I just... I'm looking for a little bit of different things here. Hmm. <clears throat> Man, I'm dying here. It's a lockdown deck. Uh, I'm, I'm not even gonna think about it. It's just... It's lockdown. How do you know? It's lockdown. Because it's lockdown. Fuck it, Mobius. I'm not even gonna think about it. Maybe it's Loki. Mobius! Look, maybe it's maybe it's Loki. Flex tape! Mid, thank you. Hell yeah. Hope Summers. I guess I can't be that kind of energy cheating. That's energy cheating on a whole different degree. Yeah, that sucks to see. I wish he can get Pryo. But that's impossible now. Guy got an already going. Flex tape! Is that Shri? Was that the bite of 87? Oh, no, it's the bite of Sentry 7. Fuck, I hate Sentry, dude. Yeah, this thing's totally fun and competitive and totally not ruining Marvel Snap for everyone. I mean, there are top decks that do it. Nihilus. Wow, how good of a hand does he have when he's annihilating left? Okay. Behold our mighty hand. Holy fuck, that is the best possible pull. I mean, we might win. Perhaps. Perchance. Not implausible. Could happen. What do we lose to? Like, this is their entire late game, but... We lost by... Actually, no, we didn't. Dazzler just didn't load. I was... The thing, like, how the hell did we lose this? Like, Dazzler's attack didn't load yet. I was so, like... How the hell did I lose? <laughs> okay, Maximus Cosmo. We win, and we're going back to Decated. Why not Cosmo Maximus? What if I played Devil Dino? You would be dead. Ever the Critic, aren't I? But yeah, boys, that was the deck. Absolutely ridiculously good. I love everything about it. It's just simple, consistent. The only RNG part of the deck is Pixie, which you need to have to play Patriot at the current, well, meta level. If you want to play this deck without Pixie, I don't know if you should. I can just say one thing, playing an Onslaught for a one cost is pretty cool when it happens. It usually ends up being like a free cost 
or a 2 cost, but when it gets played even for 0, it's actually good. Mockingbird is just absolutely great in Patriot deck. Valkyrie is the cube stealer, my 8 cube queen, that's how he wants so many cubes. It's such a good card. Like, play with Valkyrie in a lot of decks that have a lot of ongoing power, it will just skyrocket your cube rate, because probably nobody knows what they're doing, they're just like slapping their dick on the table with a lot of stats. But boys, I was Romic, the leader of the Snap Mania, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, make sure to follow my Twitch channel below, where we brew these kinds of decks every Monday or Friday or Tuesday or Saturday if you're an American or something like that. But until then, boys, love you all. Take care of yourselves.